Hey y'all, let's look around Petite Provence. Hey y'all, so today we're at Petite Provence. This is a French themed sim, so let's take a look around. So as I walked around this land, I noticed that there were so many different restaurants and so many different sitting areas and patisseries and all different types of things, including some, decorate, including some decorated houses. And you guys know I love a decorated house. So this land has so many spaces and things to see that this is perfect for uh, just a sightseeing tour as well, a walking tour that is. So I want to apologize in advance, you guys, for my voice. I am sick again. I have a little baby cold. I'm definitely going to be blaming those little crumb snatchers at my son's school. It seems like every time I get him over a cold, it, it just, I end up catching it. I'm not mad about that part, but I just am like, ugh, not again. They have a lot of these little ice cream stands around here is a really really cute uh, market where you can purchase some items up there they have a little art gallery where you actually can purchase the art that they have um, on display and I really did like that so if you guys are wanting to de-stress or anything like that just get a little break from real life on it second life of course um, they have a space in here that is giving like spa vibes Things are taking a little time to rest. It, you know, it's always something. So they have these little massage tables and things like that that I really did like. So if you wanted to come and get a little massage, they also have jacuzzis in here. I actually think I have this jacuzzi or one that's very, very similar. I love that chair. So let's do a quick little outfit check and then we can go ahead and continue. You know how I do. So let's get a little closer. So this is the outfit that I chose for today. This land gave me very like springtimey French, you know, vibes just out on the town. Have my little Birkenstocks just to make sure that I'm nice and comfortable. Peep the mango drink, you guys. So cool and refreshing and yummy. So let's continue. So I'm not sure if I mentioned it or not, but I do feel like this land is ideal for couples. Of course, you can come alone or with a group of people or, and things like that. But I definitely do feel like for the pictures, it's really going to hit different with um, like a couple. But, you know, it's a great, great picture opportunities for everybody. I don't want anybody who is on SL like myself, very, very much so to themselves. Feel, I don't want you guys to feel like, oh, well, I can't come and visit. You definitely can and you definitely should. But it's just my opinion that I feel like um, couples, it's it, it has a romantic vibe to it. Um, I don't know if it's just... The way everything is but it definitely has a really nice romantic vibe to me it's giving couples so they have this really cool bar I guess it's like a bar slash lounge at first I thought I was gonna fall and then I realized no you're not gonna fall and then your path gets lit up it's super nice I really did like this space one of the things that I really enjoyed were all of these little pastry boots all of the pastries look so super yummy, so sweet and delicious. I love a good donut, love a good sweet treat. I'm a sweet tooth kind of girl. Are you guys like sweet tooth people? It's a lot of people that are not sweet tooth people, but I definitely am. And you know, I'm, I'm trying to get better with that, but I like what I like. So I really did like how every space felt very intimate yet open and I don't know how they managed to do it but I definitely did like that feeling um everything is well for the for the most part a lot of the um sitting spaces are outdoors but they still manage to make it feel intimate so I'm not sure if you can rent land here or not but there was one space that told me that I wasn't allowed in it and so for me I take that that I take that as it being a residence type space but I'm not sure so you guys are gonna have to do a little bit of research on that on your own if you decide that you would like to live here 
all of these look so delicious those fluffy waffles and the blueberry cake and the strawberries everything is so pretty and festive I love it so although this land is French themed they also had some little enchanted parts to it that I really really thought were super duper nice and a nice surprise and just something different um, from the land and kind of you know jolt you back into wanting to explore even farther look at this you guys look at how pretty everything is in here I was so surprised when I saw this space I just was not expecting it I don't know what I was expecting but this wasn't it at all so pretty and it goes on and on and on and on and on so we're not gonna go through every little part of it but yeah so so pretty so beautiful you guys know I love a good whimsy so it's definitely whimsical and lots of nice photo opportunities I really enjoyed how this land didn't have a set path it was really one of those things where you could just walk around and just explore it definitely gave me the vibes of just being in a neighborhood that you've never been in before and just every corner is something new and exciting and thrilling to look at and just to be able to experience like I said they have a lot of nice little outside areas I love that they have little spaces like this where you can just Kind of get a little closer look at the things that they have going on and i just i don't know you know i'm not gonna talk about the sl creators because you guys know i'm already just completely in awe of them but every time i see spaces like this i'm just like oh, they didn't have to do it but they did it for us to come and enjoy i really do um appreciate just all the creators on second life because Without them, there really would be no Second Life. They are the reason why there's so many beautiful spaces and places um, to see and visit. So they do have really nice beaches that wrap around um, all of the land. I really, really liked it. Very nice photo opportunities. You could just come and vibe out, take some really nice pictures, or just relax and enjoy the scenery and the waters and the sounds. So this land does have two sides that's connected by a bridge. So when you come here, make sure that you do check out both sides because there's so, so much more to see and do here. So that's all for today, you guys. So if you guys like this video, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.